80-year-old woman gives birth. Doctors speechless after diagnosing what happened. When 52-year-old Amelia got a phone call that her 80-year-old mother was being rushed to the ER, Amelia feared the worst. She quickly left work and rushed to the local hospital to check on her mom. While waiting to be allowed into her room, several nurses she asked were unsure what was exactly the reason why she was in the ER, with two nurses mentioning severe stomach pains. But before we start, smash the like button, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on our upcoming stories. Amelia's shock began the moment she stepped into the hospital, expecting to find her elderly mother in the emergency room for something minor or age-related. The last thing she expected was to find Mary in the maternity ward, cradling a newborn. As Mary introduced Amelia to her baby brother Austin, Amelia was utterly speechless. The situation felt like a surreal nightmare an 80-year-old woman, her own mother, giving birth. She couldn't wrap her head around it. Mary, however, was overjoyed, calling Austin a miracle and proudly sharing the news with everyone around her. She had no reservations, basking in the attention and treating the birth as if it was completely normal. But Amelia was far from convinced. She wanted to believe her mother, but the logical part of her brain screamed that something was wrong. Mary's age alone made childbirth seem impossible. Not to mention her frail health, how could someone who struggled to walk stairs or stand for too long suddenly have a baby? In an attempt to calm herself, Amelia rationalized that perhaps her mother was suffering from some form of confusion or illness, even though Mary seemed fully coherent and adamant that Austin was hers. Amelia didn't push too hard initially, but her mother's constant insistence made her deeply uncomfortable. The longer she stayed around the baby, the harder it was to deny that something was off. Though Austin was adorable, Amelia couldn't shake the odd sense of unease that grew as the days passed. Mary's sudden fame fueled the mystery. Local media caught wind of the story, dubbing it a miracle birth and reporters flooded Mary's small town. Soon, Mary and Austin were at the center of attention. News crews filmed the story of the 80-year-old mother who defied all biological odds and Mary loved every second of it. She gave interviews, smiling as she held Austin up to the cameras, constantly praising Dr. Stevens for his support and miracle work. The town's residents were equally enchanted, stopping Mary on the street to congratulate her and marvel at the miracle baby. But Amelia was growing more unsettled by the day. While her mother seemed thrilled with the attention and Austin quickly became a beloved fixture in the house, Amelia's suspicions only deepened. The more people celebrated Mary's story, the more Amelia felt something was deeply wrong. When online trolls and skeptics began questioning the legitimacy of Mary's birth story, Amelia found herself agreeing with the doubts. Many people pointed out that it was medically impossible for a woman her mother's age to give birth naturally, and even though Mary brushed off the criticism, Amelia couldn't. As Austin grew, Amelia noticed peculiar changes. His skin darkened, and his hair thickened nothing out of the ordinary for a baby, but these changes didn't sit right with her. He began looking less and less like either Mary or herself. Amelia tried to discuss her concerns with Mary, but her mother dismissed it every time, insisting that babies change as they grow and everything was perfectly normal. Yet, there was no resemblance between Austin and the family. At this point, the nagging feeling in Amelia's gut became impossible to ignore. Her frustration peaked when she decided to dig deeper into her mother's medical history. Determined to uncover the truth, she returned to the hospital to request Mary's medical records. Predictably, the hospital staff refused her access, citing privacy laws. Undeterred, Amelia lied about her mother's deteriorating health, convincing a reluctant nurse to show her Mary's incomplete file. What she saw left her more confused than ever. While the records confirmed that Mary had given birth, there was no mention of the baby's father, and the details surrounding the birth were alarmingly sparse. It was almost as if the most critical parts of the story had been intentionally omitted. Fused and angry, Amelia sought out Dr. Stevens directly, convinced he held the key to the mystery. During their tense meeting, she demanded answers. Dr. Stevens remained calm, insisting that the birth was a genuine miracle. But Amelia saw through his composed demeanor there was something he wasn't telling her when she pushed him about Austin's father and the specifics of how the birth was even possible. Dr. Stevens deflected, sticking to vague platitudes about how sometimes medicine can't explain everything. His evasive responses only deepened her distrust. Amelia left Dr. Stevens' office more determined than ever. There was something bigger at play, and she was certain the doctor was hiding the truth. As she drove home, her mind raced with unanswered questions. How could this possibly be real? If her mother truly gave birth, why was there no documentation about the father? Why was Dr. Stevens so involved and protective of this miracle? Amelia couldn't shake the sense that she was on the verge of discovering something huge, something that could explain everything, from her mother's miraculous birth to Austin's inexplicable appearance. Her instincts told her the story Mary and Dr. Stevens were pushing was far from the truth. As much as she wanted to believe in her mother's happiness, she knew she couldn't let this go. There had to be an explanation for the impossible birth, and Amelia was determined to uncover it, no matter the cost. While helping with chores, Amelia found a hidden stack of letters. She was dusting a shelf when she noticed a small box tucked away at the back. Curious, she opened it and found several letters inside. What are these? She wondered, glancing over her shoulder to make sure Mary wasn't watching. 
She quickly stuffed the letters into her pocket, intending to read them later when she had some privacy. Her heart pounded with anticipation. The letters were desperate pleas from someone demanding their baby back. Amelia's hands trembled as she read them. The letters were dated just a few weeks ago. Shocked, Amelia confronted Mary, who angrily grabbed the letters away. Mary dismissed Amelia's concerns and sent her away angrily. You need to stop this nonsense, Amelia, she shouted. I've had enough of your accusations. Amelia tried to argue, but Mary wouldn't listen. Amelia decided to watch the house, determined to catch whoever was writing those letters. She spent hours parked in her car across the street from her mother's house, waiting for a break. Time ticked by slowly, the neighborhood quiet and calm. She watched every passerby, but no one approached Mary's home. Just when Amelia began to doubt herself, an unexpected scene unfolded. A woman appeared on the doorstep, her face pale and tear streaked, her voice trembling with desperation. Give me back my baby, she cried, pounding on the door. The woman's voice grew louder, more frantic with each passing second. Mary emerged from the house, her face a mask of anger. You need to leave now, Mary yelled, slamming the door in the woman's face. Amelia, alarmed by the intensity of the scene, leaped out of her car and rushed toward the woman. What's going on here, she asked. The woman, visibly distraught, introduced herself as Sarah and claimed Austin, the baby Amelia had believed was her brother, was actually her biological son. I gave him up for adoption, Sarah said, her voice breaking. But not to your mother. This wasn't supposed to happen. Sarah's confession left Amelia reeling. How could this be true? How could her mother have lied to her and the entire community? Sarah explained that she had been in a desperate situation months earlier and had decided to put her baby up for adoption, believing it was the best thing for him. But she had never intended for Austin to end up with Mary. I went through an agency, Sarah sobbed. But something went wrong. I don't know how, but Dr. Stevens is involved. As the pieces of the puzzle began to fit together, Amelia felt the weight of betrayal bearing down on her. Dr. Stevens, a family doctor they had trusted for years, had bypassed legal channels to give Austin to Mary. The entire story of Mary's miracle birth was a fabrication, a cover-up for an illegal adoption. The truth was far darker and more convoluted than Amelia could have imagined. Determined to confront her mother, Amelia returned home and demanded answers. Mary, backed into a corner, finally admitted to the deception. She had always wanted another child but was unable to conceive. When Dr. Stevens suggested an unethical adoption, Mary had seen it as her only chance. She justified her actions, believing she was giving Austin a better life, but her justifications only deepened Amelia's sense of betrayal. How could you do this, Amelia asked, her voice trembling with anger and hurt. Word of the scandal soon spread. The community, once enamored with Mary's miraculous pregnancy, was now outraged by the deceit. Reporters camped outside Mary's house, neighbors whispered in hushed tones, and everyone seemed to have an opinion on the matter. Dr. Stevens' career was in shambles, his once respected reputation now destroyed by his unethical actions. Mary, too, became a pariah, retreating into isolation as the world around her collapsed. The legal system intervened and Austin was returned to Sarah. The day of their reunion was bittersweet for Amelia. She watched from a distance as Sarah held Austin in her arms, tears of joy streaming down her face. Welcome home, my sweet boy, Sarah whispered, her voice thick with emotion. Amelia's heart ached. Though Austin had never truly been her brother, she had loved him as if he were. Letting him go was painful, but Amelia knew it was the right thing to do. In the aftermath of the scandal, Amelia struggled with the emotional fallout. She felt betrayed by her mother and confused by the lies she had grown up believing. How could mom do this she often asked herself, grappling with the duality of love and anger she felt toward Mary. Despite her inner turmoil, Amelia found an unexpected source of solace in Sarah. Over time, the two women developed a strong bond, united by their shared experiences of deception and loss. As Sarah and Austin built a new life together, Amelia found comfort in their happiness. She watched Austin grow under Sarah's loving care, and despite the pain of losing him, she knew he was where he belonged. Through the devastation and the scandal, a new and unexpected friendship blossomed between Amelia and Sarah. They leaned on each other for support, helping one another heal from the emotional wounds left by Mary and Dr. Stevens' deception. The community eventually moved on from the scandal, Though the memories lingered, Mary remained reclusive, her reputation forever tarnished. Dr. Stevens faced legal and professional consequences, his career effectively over. Amelia, though scarred by the experience, found a sense of peace in the truth. She had uncovered the dark secrets that had haunted her family and, in doing so, had gained a deeper understanding of herself and her strength. Amelia knew that healing would take time, but with Sarah and Austin in her life, she had found a new path forward, one built on truth trust, and an unbreakable bond forged in the aftermath of betrayal. The story highlights the importance of uncovering the truth, even when it's painful. Deceit can cause lasting harm to relationships and communities, but confronting it is essential for healing and justice. 
It shows that honesty, resilience, and courage are necessary to move forward after uncovering secrets that affect everyone involved. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this story, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so you never miss another unbelievable tale like this one.